The Department of Labor has launched a mental health initiative so that employers and employees know that there's resources available, know that they have rights and responsibilities. I just recently had a mental health crisis at work. Um, it just it was very, very stressful. I'm experiencing my own struggles just very busy and it was just a really, really hard day in the classroom and I, I wasn't gonna make it through the days. I didn't feel comfortable being in the classroom. I felt like my stress was gonna come off on the kids. I was not in a safe space to be helping other people regulate their emotions and that's my job is not only to educate but help them regulate themselves and it just, it didn't feel like a safe place to be able to say, I'm telling you I need a break. Let's be honest, we at work eight hours a day. We spend most of our time at work and then sometimes people work two and three shifts. Don't get to see their families uh, uh, for like two and three days. It's going to trickle down to your work and your family life. So we come to the meeting and uh, they inform us that, that an apprentice, he committed suicide. And I was just like, wow, caught up in the meeting, you know, you, everything kind of goes over your head. But as I got home that night, I was just thinking like, damn, what was this kid going through that he killed himself? Really, at the end of the day, it's it's something that they're going through. That's in there. It's their emotions. It's inside of them, and nobody actually cares enough to open up. So yeah, there is a stigma. We have to change the the conversation, or how we have to start the conversation, not change it. We have to start it because a lot of people don't even have it. There is a mental health crisis uh, in the U.S., and stigma is a significant contributing factor uh, to that crisis. Too often, we have told, sort of treated people like they were machines and that they can work 24 hours a day, seven days an hour, and when they break, uh, then that's a bad thing. And it's okay to acknowledge that stress is a part of the human experience and that we have to be mindful of not blaming people when they have stress-related crises. We look to employers to set the example, right, to be a model, to demonstrate what is possible in the workplace when you take care of your employees. It means that people matter, right? It, especially small business, it, it is pretty personal. So I'm very close to you know, the folks who work here. And so I think the stigma starts with leadership. So I don't have a stigma, so therefore there is no stigma. I mean, I don't, I don't know if I can make it any simpler than that. Leadership in our workplaces around the country have the ability to make substantive changes. We knew that for over three decades that the usage of our proactive mental health benefit that offers our people no-cost counseling sessions, that the usage was very low. Low usage was actually on par, it was similar to other workplaces, and it had been like that for several decades. But since we started our campaign, the usage of our proactive mental health benefit has increased five times. It is sustained, it, and it began to increase for the first time in 30 years, the very same month that we began our initiative in 2016. As business leaders, I want my best employees to give us their best, and I want them to feel good so that we can do this for a prolonged and sustained period. That's the business case. I think some of the most important policies are making sure that frontline workers have benefits, having access to sick days, having access to mental health supports, having access to time off, and the ability to communicate the needs. Their, day, their life outside of work as well as their balance of life in work. It's a journey for us. Uh, we know that you know, we have more work to do. Uh, we're continuing to, to learn and to grow and adapt to our changing world, but the, what's most important for us is that we want our people, uh, again, to be comfortable bringing them, their whole selves to work. Work has always been about more than just wages or health and safety. Those are very important too, but it's also been about a sense of purpose, a sense of meaning, a sense of belonging, and mental health is really key to that.